Hi, my name is Mike Jones and welcome to another episode of the Kansas City Woodworkers Guild's ongoing series of machine safety videos. Today's video will introduce you to the safety rules and requirements of the Powermatic hollow chisel mortiser. Keep in mind that like all safety videos, this video only covers the safety concerns of this machine and is not a complete training program for the use of this equipment. When in the shop, please direct any questions about using this or other machines to the on-duty shop foreman. He or she is there to act as your main resource in helping you to keep safe and provide advice in assisting you to successfully complete your project. Always remember, the most important of safety concerns is to wear approved safety glasses with side shields at all times while in the KCWG shop. Your regular glasses are not approved for use when participating in any shop activity while you are at the guild. Hollow chisel mortisers are used to cut square or rectangular holes in wood, generally for the mortise side of a mortise and tenon joint. The hollow chisel mortiser is equipped with a square chisel with a rotating auger bit within the chisel that serves to remove large amounts of material while the chisel cuts a square or rectangular hole, leaving the square corners and smooth walls of the mortise. Hollow chisel mortisers are similar to a drill press in that the mortiser combines the square chisel with the rotating drill bit in the center. The bit inside the chisel clears out most of the material while the chisel ensures that the hole is clean, square, and smooth inside. When using the hollow chisel mortiser, one must first install the proper size chisel. The Kansas City Woodworkers Guild has a selection of mortising chisels sized from 1 quarter inch to 3 quarter inch. The mounting of the chisel and bit requires that you mount the chisel into the collet while inserting the bit shank into the chuck. The chuck is identical to one used in a drill press. It is best to use a piece of scrap stock to hold the chisel and bit in place while you tighten the chuck with the available chuck key. Once the bit is securely mounted in the chuck, you then loosen the collet holding the chisel and raise the chisel about 1 16th of an inch and then retighten the collet screw. It is recommended that you then turn the chuck by hand one complete turn to ensure that nothing is binding. There are stop screws that allow you to set limits on the side to side and front to back travel of the bed. If you're not familiar with the setup procedure, please ask the foreman on duty to help you with this procedure. It's very important to remember to have your stock securely clamped into position before turning on the machine and cutting your mortises. When cutting through mortises, Please be sure to have a piece of sacrifice material under your work so that you don't risk cutting into the machine bed. Another important thing to remember when using the hollow chisel mortiser is at the position of the waste port on the chisel. You will want to mount the chisel so that the waste port is leaving the waste behind in the previously cut hole. This helps to allow the waste material to not build up inside the chisel and generate friction heat which will dull the chisel and the bit prematurely. Please ask the shop foreman for assistance if you're not sure how to set this up. It is also a really good idea to check the chisel and bit for sharpness before you start. A dull chisel can make things a lot more difficult and affect the quality of your mortise. Please ask the foreman to help you with sharpening the chisel if you're not familiar with how to do it. When you start the machine, be sure to never touch the chisel with the bit spinning. You should never allow your hands or fingers to be closer than three inches from the chisel when cutting your mortise. The auger is exposed on the side of the chisel where the waste port is located and can cause severe injury should you touch it. 
Remember, when cutting your mortises, the bit and chisel, ideally, should be fully engaged. Cut your first hole, then move the bed about two-thirds the size of the next hole to make the next cut. This puts less strain on the bit and eliminates the deflection of the chisel and bit and the high level of heat that can be generated by the deflection. Following this procedure will produce a cleaner cut and more professional looking results. Also, never try to hand hold the piece you're cutting. Your stock should be firmly clamped in the machine before you turn the mortiser on. Remember, the successful use of the hollow chisel mortiser is very dependent upon a good setup especially when performing several repeat cuts on table or chair legs. When you're finished, you should take a few moments to check your work area, clean up the machine and the floor around where you've been working. This is Mike Jones. Thanks for watching.